Hello, so here's the worksheet I promised for the Gothic Tartard group one letters. Um, <clears throat> the group one letters are the ones based on the letter O. And here's the worksheet that um, goes with it. Um, <clears throat> the idea um, of, you know, behind the worksheet is for you to trace the grayed out strokes and then in the space provided practice the strokes independently <clears throat> so it's always a good idea to have um, a sheet or two of paper um, underneath the worksheet you're writing on it just makes it a little bit more forgiving uh, <clears throat> also uh, the paper that you use for printing i've printed this on uh, Rodia uh, paper taken from a blank Rodia pad. You can just tear it off and print it on an inkjet printer. So as I um, listed in the uh, handout, the first group of letters is based on the letter O which is made out of these two strokes, the two bull horns. So in order to practice um, the bullhorn you just draw these on, on the grade outlines and then try and replicate them on your own now notice that the counterclockwise bullhorn starts about a nib width or a little less below the waistline and goes all the way down to the baseline whereas the clockwise uh, bullhorn starts at the waistline but stops short uh, about a uh, nib width above the baseline. So that's what we are practicing. Each time you, r you draw the stroke, make sure that you know, you're starting and stopping at the right spot. So um, the starting point of one stroke should match the ending point of the other which gives you an O and in this way you work down the sheet so to put the O together I will just draw it like that and then independently and, and so on the letter E is a bullhorn as if I'm writing an O but I stop about a nib width below the waistline the C is the bullhorn with an exit hairline, a bit flatter second curve, and then a little bit of decoration. I've <clears throat> the D I included is the curved one, the fancy D. So you can draw it like this, and then practice on your own. Um, now, to practice, I actually missed the curve here. Um, to practice the first D that I showed you basically ignore this curve start at this point and just follow the curve and you'll have the traditional D um, so you can practice that using the same template the X is um, long bullhorn followed by an overlapping C and um, this crossbar is not exactly horizontal and thing try and make it more horizontal um, the s is just a series of tiny bull horns it helps if you um, go along the 45 degrees uh, nib angle to to make this line um, which makes sure that these three bull horns are lined up but of course you cannot do it ahead of time um, but once you draw the first bull horn you can slide up and continue with uh, that and then <clears throat> you have a bit of space um, for writing letters on your own and um, um, I suggest you uh, use these letters to 
make words of the letters that we have learned so far Well, uh, this isn't really the best example of Gothic but art, but um, there you have it. Now, <clears throat> traditionally, Gothic but art was a very dense, condensed hand and um, was closer to three nib widths tall rather than four. Um, but I feel that for uh, learning, and I kind of like the little bit uh, cleaner look of this larger X height. Um, feel free to experiment with different pen sizes but for learning um, I, I think this 343 proportion works very well so best of luck with your um, exercises please do let me know if you have any questions and uh, I would appreciate it if you could share your work I'd love to see how you use these worksheets thank you